the government had a very enlightening and useful engagement with the Guyana Election Commission this morning. Uh, the commission was invited by, by government to examine the ways and means of um, having credible elections in as short a time as possible. And we sought guidance from the Election Commission as to what they would need. It appeared to the government side that there are some differences. We did not feel that the differences are irreconcilable, but there needs to be a fresh search for agreement between the competing opinions in the commission. Uh, much attention was focused on the list. Naturally, the list is central to elections. We feel that elections are a normal uh, part of democracy, but we don't want any citizens to feel disenfranchised. And it is evident from the evidence provided at the meeting this morning that the list is bloated um, given the size of our population, and uh, much attention is focused on sanitizing that list. As far as we are concerned on the government side, we did not receive the sort of guidance that we need to enable me as president to make a proclamation to actually announce a date. But we have kept the door open and we have asked the Guyana Election Commission to go back to the uh, to the drawing board to examine how quickly and how easily they could arrive at a, uh, at a consensual position, merge the, uh, the various uh, approaches, uh, ensure that the preparations for elections which have already started continue, and that we could um, have an agreement as quickly as possible. So as far as the government side is concerned, this has been productive, it has been edifying, and we feel that we have the basis for moving quickly towards having elections in Guyana. The unfortunate thing, of course, is that we don't have a date, and I'm confident that uh, if the Guyana Election Commission resolved or reconciled the, the different points of view um, which exist in the Commission now, Guyanese could look forward to having elections um, as early a date as possible. I'd like to ask the um, Minister of State to... <coughs> yes, sir. I would wish to add that um, the other issue that you made very clear in the meeting was that there are four matters which are to be considered in addition to the work program for GCOM, and that is that there are... that is that the need for government to continue to function in its legitimate manner, that the court processes um, are going on at the same time while we're discussing this matter with GCOM, and that the outcomes of these matters are also going to impact on whatever it is that, that we do. That GCOM as a, an independent body has to ensure that its decision-making processes, that it takes into consideration the approaches and the views expressed by these commissioners. But at the end of the day, it is the decision of the commission upon which the executive branch will have to rely on. And therefore, it is a decision of the commission that will inform His Excellency in whatever decision or pronouncements he would make. And uh, while the sense we got in the meeting that there were different approaches, that there were um, personal views also expressed, we understand that that is normal, that will happen. But at the end of all of that, we have to act on a decision of, the, of GCOM. Uh, sometimes these decisions are unanimous, sometimes they are um, a majority decision, but the fact of the matter is that we must have a decision. The other thing is that the President gave a commitment to GCOM that any issues which require the intervention of a minister or for the executive to take any action which has to be taken, that the President has undertaken to have that done expeditiously so that the work of the Commission can proceed with due haste. Let me make one thing clear. Um, 
the government is in no way interfering or intruding in the constitutional role and duty of the commission. It is for the commission to advise me that it is ready and I will then proclaim a date. Naturally, I would like to proclaim a date that is sanctioned by the National Assembly um, and, and the Constitution. But we have not intruded in the work of the Commission, and we are prepared to support the, the Commission in what it has been doing. It is not for me to overrule the Commission. It is not for anybody. The Commission is independent. It is not for anybody to give the Commission instructions um, as to when the elections are to be held. Once the Commission says it's ready, I will announce a date. And I hope that that date is, is, is as early as possible. So the question about the ball being in the President's court is, is not, um, is not a, a credible position to take. I have to be advised by the Commission, and uh, we had two hours of, I would say, grueling um, discussion. And I'm very confident that uh, when the Commission goes back to High Street, goes back to the drawing board, they'll be able to give the Guyanese people, or to give the president the type of guidance that I need to make that decision. I am satisfied that the will exists on both sides, the government side and the commission side. I mean, I'll have to make that decision as to when elections will be held in Guyana.